Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, 11 o'clock on the East Coast. My name is Jamie, and this is my weekly uh, card live tutorial that I do every week. Um, I am going to be featuring brand new product. We're going to be making a fun fold card. Super excited about that. I don't usually do fun fold cards, um, but last night I had my team uh, mystery stamping, and I thought, I can do so. I can come up with something on the fairly easy side. So it's fairly easy. You know me. If it's going to be a fun fold, it's going to be so uh, manageable and doable. <clears throat> Anyone's going to be able to do it. So we're going to dive into that in just a second. We're using, like I said, brand new product from the annual catalog. Good morning, Karen. <clears throat> of course, the one morning I don't bring a bottle of water down here with me. <clears throat> okay. So, um, uh, just a couple of announcements. I just want to give you a heads up that I have going on. Like I said, the new I got the new annual catalog yesterday, yesterday or the day before yesterday. Um, it is beautiful. It'll be around for 364 days or so. It's the annual catalog. So this will run for an entire year. It is full of lots of new goodies. It includes a color refresh. I can't show you the inside yet, but it's super fun. If you are a customer of mine and requested to receive a catalog, those should, Lord willing, go out in the mail for you today, except for those that got spiral binding. That will be tomorrow. I dropped them off yesterday. So uh, just a couple of things. Number one, in order to help get you um, new designer series paper, ribbon, embellishments, all the goodies without breaking the bank, I have set up a product share. I purposely hung them up there so I remember and not lose them. Um, a product share is basically where I buy one of everything and then kind of evenly divide it up and you buy like that portion, okay? So for example, designer series paper gets cut down or maybe it already is to six by six samples. This is the beautiful countryside in paper. I label it with um, the product number, the coordinating colors in the paper, um, everything is in resealable cellophane bags, again, clearly labeled so you know what's what. I had someone give me the feedback yesterday. She's like, I love, or the other day, I love your product shares. I needed to find a paper and it took like all of a couple of minutes to find it because everything was so clearly labeled. So um, there's that. And then I'm doing something a little different, but ribbon's going to be cut down into one fourth a spool. So I'm going to take a spool and your portion will be one fourth of that. Some of those spools are 10 yards, some are five yards. Doesn't matter. You're going to get one fourth of every spool. This is the one of our new in colors. It's the three eighth textured ribbon boho blue. You, um, you'll get all the new ribbons. So you're going to want to check out all the details. I have a couple of options available. Some of them include free product. Um, you can find that at jamieb.com. There will be a link over there for the product share. Okay. Second, that's product share. <laughs> Second, I'm offering a new color club. Okay. So we're having a color refresh. Stampin' Up! is bringing 11 colors into our core color collections. Um 11 colors, I'm only going to do 10 of them because one of them is Fresh Freesia, and we literally have that color available right now. I'm so glad that's carrying over. Uh, so uh, 10 core colors are going to be added. I'm spacing them out over five months. So for five months, every month, you're going to get two colors featured. You're going to get ink pad, <laughs> two ink pads, two cardstock packs, two Stampin' Blends, two Stampin' Writes, actually four Stampin' Blends if you count um, both markers, uh, refills, and then I'm going to throw in some samples of other coordinating colors. You're going to get two card tutorials every month. And then one of those five months, you will get hostess rewards of at least $40. Hostess rewards just means free product. <laughs> so one of those months, you will get $40 in free product that you can choose from. I do have limited space available. Um, it is $81.50 a month for five months so that at the end of five months, again, you have all the product for the 10 new colors. Um, if by some chance you already have some of those colors, uh, like I had someone say that she already has Misty Moonlight. She already had it. So you, there is a spot at the bottom of the form where you can swap out colors and I will adapt and we can discuss that. Um, depending on what product there is for those colors. Um, so again, that is at the same jamieb.com. I have both those links there available. Um, 
just guess what my name, right? J A I M I E B dot com. Uh, again, that's my catch all link. You can um, shop from that link. You can join from that link. You can get my e weekly email from that link, all the things. Okay. Check out all the details. It's a lot of information, but it's really to help you um, a not feel overwhelmed, like let the overwhelm fall on me and to help um, help your budget a little bit, space it out and hopefully um, kind of get a little bit to get you going. And then like the product shares are great. I wish I knew about product shares when I was a customer. I would have been all over that seriously <laughs> because I had a very tight budget. And it's a way to get you like one of everything, a sampling of one of everything without you literally having to buy one of everything. And then you can decide like what you want more of, or maybe you just want like a little sampling of something. You don't need a full pack. I don't know. I'm a huge fan. They are a work of love. Let me tell you, they take me some time to process. And I really, I, I, I put them together in a way that I would like to receive them. I really um, try and make it as easy for you to use the product and see what's what. And, um, yeah, I, I try and like, how would I, that's what I asked myself when I was putting them together years and years ago. Um, how would I like to receive a product share? And that's kind of what I put together. Okie dokie. So enough of me blabbering, go to jamieb.com. All my links are there. They'll take you to the forums. You can see the more information, um, decide what you want, um, to participate in. Okay, who's here? Hello, Fran and Judy. Corinne's here. Vicky's here from Arizona. Oh, it's a little early in Arizona, isn't it? Are we three hours, two hours, something like that? Okay, here's the catalog. It's so pretty. I got this yesterday. I haven't even cracked it open yet. Would you believe it? It's been a little crazy around here. Okay, so this is the card we're making. Oh, let me do this. I wish I had brought a bottle of water. Okay, <clears throat> this is the card we're going to be making. It's a birthday card. It's a super duper, ridiculously easy fun fold. So the top opens and the bottom opens. We did this yesterday for my mystery stamping in my team. Um, we do that once a month. We'd love to have you join us in May. Um, so it's using brand new product. Okay. So the brand new product is, it's the Fresh as a Daisy Sweet Collection. So there's a bigger sweet collection, which includes the cheerful daisies. Oh my gosh, it is 8, 8 a.m. there. It's a little early. Good morning. <laughs> the cheerful daisies uh, bundle. It is a photopolymer stamp set. It has 15 images and it is two step stamping. These images are shown at 90%, so they are bigger, right? Like that's that you can see it's bigger. And they're shown, um, excuse me, it's a two step stamping. And it was interesting because I was watching a video that Stampin' Up did in the leaders Facebook group on Monday. And they talked about the lady that they had on was talking about, um, that's okay, Jennifer. I forgot to post it ahead of time. That's why you didn't get a notification. <laughs> um, she was talking about how they, the, the process that goes into the color refresh and picking the new colors. And they talked about color buddies. And I thought that was so interesting and how a lot of, you know, when they look at the colors, they try and find, um, a color and see if it has a buddy in another color, one that you could do like two step stamping. Obviously you can always do stamping off, which is what kind of, I always usually do. Um, but for example, the bubble bath and moody mauve colors are a beautiful buddy color. So you could stamp moody mauve, which is what I'm going to do. And then bubble bath is like the lighter shade for two step stamping. And they just look so yummy together. And I'm throwing in the wild wheat, which I have to say, I, I feel like I need to issue a formal apologize to wild wheat because I really didn't like the color. I thought it looked like something I won't say, um, but it looks really, it's almost like, um, like a gold hint and it's very complimentary. I think to these colors, I love these three together. Moody mauve. These are all new colors. Moody mauve. Um, is an in color bubble bath is part of our new core collection and wild wheat is an in color as well. So I just thought that was so interesting that Stampin' Up! They were talking about buddy colors and I now I just see color through a different lens, I suppose. <clears throat> so we have the stamp set. You can do two step stampings on um, daisies, but then the dies, you can also just do um, like die cut dies. 
And I'm going to show you this in a second. And then we have this amazingness. Look at that amazingness. You can stamp your daisies in these, or you can use the card stock and do like build your daisies. And then we have a little label. Gotta love a label. That's what I used here. Um, I was going to show, oh, let me show you the other colors I made with this. So this is today's, yesterday's card um, featured that beautiful designer paper. It really, I, there's no daisies. There's no stamped or die cut daisies. Just letting the paper do all the work. Um, some of our, this is cup Copper clay. Yes, copper clay. Another one of our ink colors. And then pretty peacock. That's a returning. Love it. So pretty. Oh, no, that wasn't my card yesterday. Was it? No, this was my card yesterday. This is my card. When is that card? Co it's coming out at some point. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm drawing a blank. Friday, maybe? This was my card yesterday. And it uses all three of those dies. Ah, they all just fell out. So... For each of these, there's three. So this is the big guy, right? And I simped off the leaf because I didn't want them. So this is like the middle. And then I put this one over it. And then there's another one, which will cut out your stamped image that I put behind. So there's actually three layers of cardstock on each of these daisies. And I just love how it's sort of built up. And it's white on the pool party. I just love that. Someone said it on Facebook. What a beautiful color combination. And I agree. Pool party, just the basic white, garden green, and then wild weed again. Who would go figure? Oh, my gosh. It's 100 degrees. Wow. I don't even know what to say. That's hot. <laughs> I love the crosshatch embossing folder paired with the plaid. Oh, yes. Is that what that's called? I didn't even know. <laughs> This year, it is a favorite of mine. I use it. That's the positive. No, the negative side. And this is the positive. I keep using it. It's so pretty. And then my card for tomorrow is this. Again, relying sort of heavily on the designer paper to do the work. But then stamping a daisy. I stamped off. This is the new L lemon lolly, I have to think. Um, and then another one, pebbled path. So I'm really embracing new color. I love the new colors. It's just so refreshing color refresh it's refreshing to have the new colors um and then wild weed again i don't even know why i'm using wild weed so much maybe because i don't have a lot of ribbon right now uh but i'm a huge fan and then what i wanted to show you is the i haven't i might carry over into <clears throat> i'm going horse i don't know why i do know why actually but so in the fresh as a daisy designer paper which, by the way, you'll this is included in the product share. You'll get a sampling of it. We This is the very first page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You get ten images. And I didn't finish, but I started. I didn't quite know what I wanted to do. But you can cut them all up and make, like, individual um, cards or square cards or... I don't know what I'm going to do with that. <laughs> and then like little, I was kind of playing around with like stamping on those little pieces. I haven't finished. These are all, I have them sitting here. Like at some point I want to finish that, but this is really fun. I don't, I haven't seen anything like this in a while. So there's that. Should I show you the rest of the paper? So there's that. Well, again, one um, side is more imagery. I love this one. I don't think I use this in any of my cards. It's such a happy pattern. If, if paper could be happy, it's this, right? This one might be my favorite. I just love the Moody Mauve with the bubble bath. So pretty. And then more green. These are like kind of like traditional looking daisies, right? The white with the yellow centers. And then the flip side is more pattern. So... I think this is the, I'm not going to say it. I have to practice saying it. That one new something afternoon. <laughs> this might be crushed curry with, what did I, what did I say? Wild wheat and then pebbled path. This is um, pretty peacock with garden green, I think. And then moody moth. So I'll get a sample of this product share is available. Open now through. I got to change that because I have it through May 3rd, but it's May 1st. I have my dates all sorts of confused. And then I wanted to give you a little sneak peek because you may not have the specific product that I'm using, or maybe you don't plan on getting the specific product that I'm using, but you can take the general layout, sort of like the bones of the card that I'm making, 
and recreate it with product that you do have. So again, last night, like I said, we did mystery stamping and I stamped right along with them and I recreated the card and I used a different new product, the balloon, beautiful balloons, I think it's called. And a new and one of the new designer papers changed the embossing folder. And there you have it. So um, make sure you take note of the measurements and get creative and think outside the box and think like what product do you have that you can use um, to replicate. Okay, let's dive in. Enough talking. I'm going hoarse. I don't know why. I'm losing. Okay, my handwriting is, isn't the best, but these are my measurements. If you want to take a screenshot or pause, if you're watching the replay, you want to pause. These are my measurements. I apologize for my handwriting. It's not the best. <laughs> um, so we're starting off with a card, uh, card base, which is four and a quarter by nine. It's a little shy, but we're still going to score it at five and a half. Four and a quarter by nine scored at five and a half. So you're making a card front. Oh, I just moved that. Sorry. Hello, Debbie from the Netherlands. Okay. So just a little, a little short. Then you're going to take. Uh, three and an eighth by three and seven eighths designer paper. One that you have on hand. We all have designer paper on hand. Why is my measurement not right? Three and seven. Hold on. One of those wasn't right. Unless I cut it wrong. I bet I cut it wrong. Four. Oh, I did. I cut it three and a half instead of three and a quarter. Hold on. I got to give it a little bit of a haircut. Okay. So then you're going to take the three and a quarter by four white, and those are just going to mat over one another. Of course, there has to be matting. I can't help myself. I really try sometimes, but I just have to mat. I have to. I can't not. It just kind of, I don't know, makes me happy. <laughs> and then that's going to go on the front flap here. Like so. Okie dokie. Now, when I did the mystery stamping card last night, I love it because my original card is a mystery to the to my team members, to the Art and Soul team. Um, and so I'm just like verbally walking them through. And depending on how they interpret or the product I picked or whatever, it comes out different. And so some of the, the ladies had it be like a side fold card. Some of them had it go this way. So again, take the bones of the of the layout of the design and kind of just have fun with it and get really creative, do different things. Um, okay. The next piece of Moody Mob is two and a half by five and a quarter. I love matting too. I can't help myself, Jennifer, right? It's like, it just adds a nice layer to it. So this is, what did I say? Two and a half by five and a quarter. And we're going to score at one inch off the end. Doesn't matter which end, any end will do it. This is a little, the flap at the top. This is what's going to go up here. Now, I will also say you could, um, I like negative space. I know some people don't. <laughs> I had someone once tell me, like, I really like that card, but it was, like, way too empty at the top. It's like, okay. <laughs> to each their own. That's just my style. I like negative space. But if you don't like negative space, again, take the bones of the design, but maybe put like another pattern of designer paper here, or you can stamp or, or I don't know, just play with it. If this negative space bothers you, like it does for some, someone told me, <laughs> that's okay. She's entitled to her opinion. Um, you know, add maybe another piece of paper. That is design. Sorry, I have to get my embossing filter out. I forgot to get it. Um, or whatever. But I really like negative space. So I left it as is. Um, so you're going to take your three and a half by four. Nope, not three and a half by two and three eighths by four and an eighth white. And this is what we're going to emboss. I love, 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 love this embossing folder and folders. It's the basics, basics embossing folder or basic embossing folders. There's three of them. I don't even know if it's still available. Quite honestly, I haven't looked. I should probably look. I might just keep using it regard regardless, quite honestly, because I love it so much. Because 
like one side you have such yummy texture and then the other side is just like a really nice background to anything i'm gonna do texture up uh yeah texture up i had to think about it and then that goes on your little flap here and yeah let's go ahead we'll just put it well let's put the inside inside is four by five and a quarter it's a standard insert for a card like so and then i'm going to use liquid glue because i really want i want a little wiggle room and i want to um i want it to really stick i don't want this going anywhere whoops my glue just fell Okay. I'm not measuring. If you want it super precise, then definitely measure. I'm going to eyeball. I'm feeling, uh, <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm up for a challenge. Okay. There we go. Now, if you didn't want your flap so low, you could cut it a little shorter or you could cut this piece a little higher. I mean, again, you could play with it and do so, so, so much with it. Um, what do I do with my, my base that I got? Oh. I got it here. Okay. So that's our, our basics. Okay. This is, could be the base for anything that you do. This is just cardstock, designer paper, um, an embossing folder. You don't even need the embossing folder. This just could just be like a plain, um, plain piece of cardstock really. But we're going to play with new product. And I just realized I didn't grab scrap paper. Do I have a big, does anybody else, does anybody else have scraps like this? Am I the only one? Am I the only one? I'm trying to find, is that going to be big enough? No, that one might be big enough. I'm trying to use some of my scraps off because honestly, this drives me nuts. It really like makes me go bonkers. Oh, there's a big one. And there's like bajillion more of that in my little thing. Okay. Two-step stamping. Here we go. Now, normally, normally, I do the inside stamp first and then the outline over because I find it easier to see. <laughs> but the bubble bath is so, um, it's just such a light color. I had a really hard time seeing it. So I'm actually going to do what I normally don't do and do the outside stamp first. Normally I would do the inside, but I really struggled. Couldn't see it hardly at all. So Moody Mauve. And then let's see, I can fit more on this piece of paper. Yeah, I can. Of course, again, there's that one. We're going to do all three. And then while I have that out, I'm going to stamp the little centers. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do the centers yet. I'm going to tell you why in a second. <laughs> and let's stamp over it. So we're going to do bubble bath. Such a pretty, like, purpley, purpley pink. I want to just get placement, get an idea of placement before I do this. Hold your breath. <laughs> For a New York minute, I thought you had stolen my scraps. <laughs> That's funny, Karen. <laughs> nope, they're all mine. <laughs> and there's plenty more where they came from, let me tell you. For some reason, the white, I always have little bits left over. The solid cardstock, not so much. But the white, yeah, there's always an abundance of little bits okay beautiful beautiful and as always um our ink pads will stamp a little darker and they will lighten as they dry now i did a little magic ahead of time i did two of the the leaves but i will do one now, I'm not stamping the centers. I could stamp these two centers. I could. But this guy here, 
need this. Oh, I should have stamped the sentiment too. Oh, well, we'll do that in a hot second. This guy here, the center of, of the flower is a little like off centered. So if I were to stamp him a little bit to the right and then die cut it, it wouldn't come out right. And so I would suggest that you um, cut him out and then stamp the inside. Oh. I'm just going to cut them out off screen here. Give me a second. Oh, I'm going to try to do all of them at once. Oh, no. What did I do? Hold on. Oh, no, that's not it. There it is. Oh, I thought I lost my leaf for a second, but he was... Okay. I'm going to try and cut out all four at once. I think I did it. No problems, Amy. No worries. I don't know about you, Amy. I don't know if your kids are home this week, but my kids are home this week. And so everything is just off. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to like be mom and be a demonstrator and I have others and all these things. And it's like, some days are better than others. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Some days I'm rocking it and other days are a complete flop. Okay, so we're going to stamp the inside. There's one bigger inside for the bigger guy. And then there's a smaller inside for the littler guys. And this is what I mean. I can actually see exactly where I need to get that center. See? So it like fits. If I had done that ahead of time, I might have gone a little bit to the right. One is, and that makes it worse since I don't know who is where or when <laughs> or what's going on. Where is everybody? What is going on? Now, ahead of time, I also took, and remember I showed you this, this guy here is so pretty. Um, ahead of time, I ran it through just like the edge, like this, of some wild wheat, just because I wanted that leaf cut out. Um, if I was my take your pick tool, I would be right here. I knew that. I totally knew where it was. And I should have done this ahead of time, but I didn't. You're going to poke out the little things. I guess you don't have to poke out the little things. They're kind of fun to leave in sometimes. But, and you may need to trim these down just a smidge to kind of hide that, the bit that didn't get cut. Okay. Okay, we are rocking. Here we go. Dimensionals. Where's my card? Okay, we're going to start with my flowers. And I'm going to put them up on dimensionals so I can, I'll have room to wiggle leaves underneath. So I don't have to necessarily get those in place yet. One in the corner. Why does that look longer? No, I guess it's not. It just looks longer. And then we're going to do, we'll do one on that guy. Pop him in the corner. Pop another one on that guy. And have him a little lower. Okie dokie. Now, like I said, these may need to be trimmed just a smidge. Boop, boop. Just a hair. I mean, I guess you could leave that little bit showing. It's a leaf. But I didn't want it showing. Now. I don't know if any of you have been to a stamp camp with Zara and I, but for some reason, I never have glue dots. I never use them. I'm a liquid girl, liquid glue girl when it comes to like gluing these kinds of things down. But lately, I don't even know who I am. I've been using glue dots. So I'm just going to tuck that in with a glue dot. Well, it's different placement than that one, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be in the same place. And I'm going to pick this one up. Talk, whoa, he's a, he's a little out of control over here. Ah, don't commit, don't commit. Okay, we're committing. It's going there. I can't move it. It is what it is. <laughs> and then we're going to pick up some of these leaves. And just kind of put them around the other leaves. Leaves, leaves, and more leaves. 
it in there. I wanted you in farther. Eh, see, that's why I don't use glue dots <laughs> right there. And then one more. And have it sort of in between like that. Okay. Where'd my box go? Oh, there it is. Glue dots are always my go-to for small things. I end up stuck to my project if I try to use glue. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I I don't know. I have there's no rhyme or reason for why I've never I don't use glue dots because they're easier. They make sense, but I don't use them. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Okay, my original card's a birthday card. I don't need a ton of more. I have a ton of birthday cards, so I'm gonna just make a friendship card. Your friendship means everything. I love that sentiment. I could definitely think of a person or two to mail this card to. And I'm hoping this fits. Okay, it does. Like barely. Barely, barely. I love a good label, right? I mean, can you ever have enough label dies? I personally don't think so. So we're going to shove that there. I played with putting it like front and center, but again, my style is kind of, I like to off center things like a lot. I do that a lot. And I've had people say to me, why is that off center? Cause I like it that way. That's why if you don't like it off center. You can certainly do it front and center. Yesterday on my, um, mystery stamping, I had one of the ladies put the sentiments down here at the bottom, which I loved as well. So have fun with it. Get creative. Think of fun ways to um, add the different elements. And then to finish off the card, I'm bringing in the 2023-25 in color dots. So these are the five in colors. Boho blue, copper clay, moody mauve. That's wild wheat. Looks more yellow, but. And pebble path. And you get three different sizes. These are included in my product shares as well. So if you'd like to get a sample of these by all means. They're a little tricky to get off. And I normally would use my take your pick tool because I'm a huge fan. These I find easier just to kind of scoop up with your fingernails, so to speak. Very, um, very professional. Scoop it with your fingernail. <laughs> so weird. Who says that? Uh, I don't know where to put this guy because I don't really want him there, but he's going there. And then I think I'm going to put this one Oh, I wish I could move that just a smidge up. Can I? Oh, I can. Okay, there we go. Then I wish I had this guy a little bit lower. Oh, I can pick him up. There we go. Okay, we're going to call it a day. I desperately wanted to add a bow. I didn't, but I did make the bow. And I really was like, do I put it down here? Do I put it here? I could not find a spot that I liked for the bow. So I didn't add it, but I definitely want to show you because this is the, the textured ribbon um that comes in all five of the new in colors it's really really pretty it makes um really pretty bows and i love it in the moody mauve it's just such a pretty a pretty bow pretty ribbon maybe i'll end up putting it there i didn't know what to do with it it was big and chunky so i decided to leave it off but okay there you go so we have the cheerful da daisies a bundle part of the fresh as a daisy sweet collection it will be available to customers may 2nd if you're like jamie i cannot wait till may 2nd you can add this in a starter kit as a pre-order anytime now leading up to then um it is beautiful you're going to be able to get a sample of the paper the ribbon the embellishments in my product share and um uh let's see here bubble bath will be included in the new color club Okay, so all those details, again, you can find at uh, jamieb.com. If you need to shop, if you'd like to get a hold of me, if you have questions, whatever, jamieb.com is my catch-all. You can find all the things over there. And that wraps up today, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. And I will see you back next week. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.